Mustang Arena, the Mount Crest Mustangs, and the Bear River Bears. We also welcome those of you viewing this game on the Valley Channel. Uh, tonight's uh, Valley Channel game of the week, the Mustangs and the Bears. Mountain Crest comes in. Region play, 3-5 and five record overall, 10-6. and six. Bear River, 2-14 and 14 overall, and 0-8 oh and eight in region play. We've talked about it. Mountain Crest cannot afford to look past Bear River tonight uh, as they've got Skyview and Ben Lohman, the region leaders, next week. Yeah, if I'm Coach Nielsen, I'm I'm uh, concerned about their mental preparation for this game, and I want to—I would definitely want to reference the Box Elder game, where uh, the, you have a very similar situation. The team you think you're going to beat is on your floor, and uh, they got surprised that night. One of the things you worry about with Fair River is here's a team that may be working on new things. So if you're not ready for those things, uh, it could be trouble. Okay, we're getting set for the starters. Again, Mountain Crest coming off a two-game winning streak, having. Uh, beaten Ogden last Friday in double overtime on Dave Simmons' last second shot and Fox Elder. Starting lineup, six foot one, senior guard, Leo Robertson for the Bears. Number 32 is Kelly Bird, a six foot two senior guard. 41, six foot four junior, Ryan Toon, their leading scorer. Number 44, Brian Brager, a six foot two sophomore. And number 50, a five foot 11 senior guard, Wade Barris. And for the Mountain Crest Mustangs. Starting on the guard line at point guard. Number 23, 5'11", junior guard, Eric Baugh. He's also the Mustangs' leading scorer, averaging 13 and a half points a game. Dan Conger, number 25, six foot junior guard, starts for the Mustangs. Starting also outside, number 35, Jeff Crosby, six foot four junior forward. J.J. Nelson, number 41, six foot three junior forward, four juniors, and the only senior to start for the Mustangs, number 51, six foot three senior center, Matt Rudd. The Mustangs are coached by head coach John Nelson, and the Bear River Bears are coached by Rex McKee in his third year there at Box or at Bear River. We'd like to thank Rocky Mountain Cellular for making this game possible to you via cellular phone. Uh, special thanks to them, always providing us with the airtime and the technology to bring you this game live. Again, other region games of note tonight. The uh, uh, Logan Grizzlies are down at Ogden taking on the Tigers. Both those two teams are four and five in region play. So if Mountain Crest happens to win this game, they will move into sole possession of fourth behind either Logan or Ogden, and the loser of that game will move into fifth place uh, with a four and six record. So getting set to jump center, Ryan Toon and Jeff Crosby, the ball's up and tipped in the backcourt, Wade Barris controls for the Bears. Into the front court, on the angle right, Brager holds, now down in the corner back to Barris. Robertson dribbles with the southpaw to the free throw line, gives the Toon back to Barris, out to Brager. Brager outside now between the circles. Wade Barris picked up man to man by Mountain Crest. Robertson picked up by Conger, he holds, goes into the corner to Barris. Uh, to Brager. Brager, the leading scorer for Bear River. Last time they played Mount Crest with 17 points. Now Robertson tries to go baseline, can't find it. Turns it back out. The ball's knocked away. Robertson gets it back, finds two to open. Pump fakes once, twice, lays it up and in. So Ryan Toom, averaging 12 points a game in region play, starts things off for the Bears, and they hold the 2-0 lead. Underneath, Rudd, and he's fouled from behind, and that's Toon picking up his first foul. And the first team foul on Bear River. Best Western Western in the Mountain West finest accommodations. We thank them for bringing this game to you. Dan Conger to inbound for the Mustangs into the corner. J.J. Nielsen holds. Kelly Bird picks him up. Eric Baugh has the ball picked up by Barris. Cross board over to Conger. Conger goes into the lane, kicks it out. Eric Baugh out to J.J. Nielsen. A three from the angle left. Rims around and out. Rebound. Two for the Bears. Gives to Barris. A minute gone by here in the first quarter. Bear River on top. Robertson almost had a free lane, but Crosby stopped him to Barris. Free throw line to Bird. The ball goes out of bounds. Mountain Crest will get the ball back. The first turnover of the game. And Mountain Crest will have a chance to tie it up. Coach John Nilsson calling for three down. And Eric Baugh into the front court with a southpaw dribble. Rudd. Out beyond the arc, top of the key, right side now. Eric Ball holds. He looks underneath, he can't find anybody. Conger, who drives into the lane, leans in, double dribbles, walks, and everything else, and called for the travel. So, 
Bear River gets the ball back out of bounds in their own backcourt. Jack's Tire and Oil safety inspections are only $7 at Jack's. We thank them for their sponsorship. And now the ball thrown away by Kelly Bird as he tried to find Ferris. And Mountain Crest, with the full court pressure, it pays off and they get the ball back. 6.31 left in the first 2-0. Bear River leads on a Ryan 2 layup. Eric Baugh works man-to-man -man against Ferris, gives right side to Conger. Top of the key. Left side now, Matt Rudd holds. Cross court pass at the top of the key. Crosby holds. He'll pop a three from the angle left. This one short. Rebound. Rudd fights for it. Kicks it out. Conger. Conger drives baseline. Spins it back out top of the key to Baugh. Baugh holds. Goes off a screen by Crosby. He's still got his dribble. Kicks it out to Conger. Top of the key, Crosby. Crosby guarded by Brager. Now to J.J. Into the lane with a left-hand dribble. Right-hand shot's good. A nice move and a nice shot by J.J. Just kind of... Fell his way through the lane and popped it up and in. Now Wade Barris is fouled near midcourt by J.J. Nelson, who came in trying to come up with a steal. And Barris is, looks like he's shaken up a little bit. Bear River trainer out to see him. J.J. kind of collided with him. I don't think he meant to, to run into him like he did. And Barris is limping. Looks like his right leg. So that's the first team foul on Mountain Crest. And it's a 2-2 tie, 5.55 left here in the first quarter. We'd like to thank Deseret Industries. When you buy from or contribute to Deseret Industries, you bring new kind, new life to all kinds of goods and a good life to all kinds of people. So checking into the game is number 52, Quinn Stevens, a 5'11 senior for the Bears. Robertson holds on the angle left into the corner to Stevens. Stevens tries to find Bird, who's posting Crosby up, doesn't get it to him. Robertson finally to Bird at the free throw line left turns. Turnaround jumper from 15 is no good. The rebound spot for Rudd keeps it alive and J.J. Nielsen picks it up to Eric Baugh near midcourt on the angle left. Conger free throw line to Crosby. Looks underneath Rudd. Rudd doesn't look for the shot. Kicks it back out. Eric, 50% three point shooter misses this one. Crosby and J.J. Uh, Nielsen chase down the rebound. J.J. controls to Conger. Goes into the lane with a left hand dribble and is fouled on the dribble drive by Leo Robertson. Robertson's first second team foul on the Bear River Bears, and Mountain Crest will get the ball out of bounds under their own basket. Beautiful day today, if you like snow, and if you like to ski. Tonight, Mountain Crest Bear River, the ball's inbound. Baugh misses the layup. Rudd with a rebound, and he and Toon fight for it, and it's a jump ball. Mountain Crest will get it out of bounds under their own basket. Still, just 2-2 two -two is our score with 5-15 left here in the first quarter. Dave Harrison here with you as always, enjoying this and I hope you are too. Exciting Region 5 boys basketball in the corner. J.J. Nelson, a three, yes! J.J. with his fifth point and the Mustangs take the 5-2 lead. Stevens with the ball on the angle right to Brager. Brager, probably the Bears' best basketball player, has the ball now on the angle left. He'll nail a three. Shot's good. And Brager who hit three three-pointers last time these two teams played. Hits his first. Conger doesn't take the three to Crosby at the top of the key. Dribbles into the lane. Leans in with the right hand. Shot's no good. Rebound hits the floor and Robertson controls for the Bears. Stevens picked up by Eric Baugh. Top of the key. Robertson swings it to Bird at the free throw line. He's got his back to the basket. He holds. Gives top of the key to Brager. Picked up by J.J. Nielsen. Leo Robertson on the angle left. Conger guards him. Free throw line to Toon. Toon averaging 12 points a game in region. Hands to Stevens, cutting to the hole. Shot, no good. Rebound, J.J. Nielsen kicks it out to Baugh. Baugh on a semi-break for the Mustangs at the free throw line. Kicks it out. Top of the key, Crosby. Left side, J.J. Another three by J.J. It's good. J.J. With all eight of Mountain Crest points, he's hit two three-pointers, and the Mustangs have a three-point lead, 8-5. The ball's taken away by J.J. J.J.'s going to go in, lay up. No, he hammers it in. J.J. Nielsen with a dunk. And the Mustangs have a 10-5 lead. J.J. Nielsen with all 10 points for Mount Crest. The ball pressured and again taken away. And this time a foul called on J.J. Nielsen as he reached around, knocked the ball away from Leo Robertson at midcourt. And J.J. has played excellent early on, although he does have two fouls already. He has all 10 of Mount Crest points and all two of their fouls. Bear River to inbound the ball in the backcourt. And that is number 15, Jonathan Riggs, a six foot three junior who has checked in. Also number 12 is Justin Christiansen. Christiansen in the corner. 
to Riggs. Riggs double teamed and he's fouled. No, he steps out of bounds and Mountain Crest will get the ball. So again, the pressure defense paying off for Mountain Crest and they'll get the ball back. Three turnovers already on Bear River. Into the front court, Mountain Crest with the ball. J.J. Nilsson, top of the key, red left side, Crosby underneath. J.J. open, leans in, layup, count it, and a foul, J.J. Nilsson. So J.J. has been the one-man show for the Mustangs with 12 points, a beautiful pass from Crosby as he cut to the hole, and a timeout on the floor. With the score, Mountain Crest 12, Bear River 5, 328 left in the first. We'll be right back. The line for the Mustangs. Mountain Crest with a 12-5 lead, and all 12 points have been scored by J.J. Nilsson. His high for the year, 14 points, and that was in the first game of the year. So J.J. trying to complete the three-point play with the right hand. The shot's good. And the Mustangs lead 13-5. J.J. checks out, and Jeff Baugh will check into the game. 3.28 left here in the first. Rager inbounds in the backcourt to Barris, who's checked back into the game. Full court pressure by the Mustangs. Conger. Now, Stevens in the backcourt, excuse me, Christiansen to Brager. He comes into the front court. Christiansen back to Brager. Brager, the sophomore, kicks it out between the circles to Christiansen. Toon tries to turn in, hands to Barris. Barris, who's hit three three pointers, loses the ball. Jeff Baugh all the way down to Eric Baugh. He's fouled by number 15, Jonathan Riggs. So Conger with the steal as the ball got away from Barris. And Eric Ball, the way down court, he'll shoot free throws. Now Rudd checks out. Nate Wilcox and Ben Lishman check in. Also coming out, Jeff Crosby. Still, J.J. Nelson, the only Mustang to score, as he's got 13 points, and the Stangs have the 13-5 lead. Eric Ball at the free throw line. Eric, for the year from the free throw line, 79%. With the right hand, this one's no good. He's struggled a little bit lately from from the free throw line. Uh, throughout the preseason, he shot about 83, 84%, but he struggled, and this one rolls in. So he's one for two from the line, and Mountain Crest leads 14-5. Christy Anson with a right-hand dribble into the front court, baseline to Toon. Toon backs it back out to Christy Anson on the angle right. Mountain Crest in the zone defense. Between the circles, Barris holds. Left side, Riggs. Riggs the junior into the corner to Barris. Barris will nail it. Shoot a three. This one hits the top of the backboard on the fly. And Mountain Crest gets the ball out of bounds under their own basket. Eric Baugh, point guard for Mountain Crest, dribbles off the screen all the way in. Layup, shot, no good. Rebound. Lishman comes over the back of two bears, controls it to Conger. 15 footer from the left side, no good. Rebound, Christy Anson. He turns, looks up court. Into the front court, picked up by Conger. Christiansen goes, tries to find Toon, can't find him. Now to Brager at the free throw line. He holds out to Toon. Toon, top of the key, to Riggs. Riggs swings it over to Barris on the angle left. Mountain Crest still in the zone to Toon in the lane. He dribbles. It's knocked away by Eric Baugh, and Ben Lishman comes up with it. Gives it back to Baugh, down court to Conger. Conger stops to Ben Lishman. Right side, Jeff Baugh in the corner, Eric. Eric underneath the Nate. Nate Wilcox kicks it back out to Eric Ball, back down to Nate. Nate fakes, turns in, shot is no good and a foul. Nate Wilcox has got a quick step, uh, and he's got a nice shot. He's got very good touch for a big man, and I'm sure Coach John Nilsson would like to see him put the ball up a little bit more than he has, but he'll shoot two free throws. Nate from the line this year, 82%. Remember, he started the season hitting 20 straight free throws, and since then, uh, is just two for eight or three for eight so 23 for 28 from the line this season 82 percent and he's got two free throws with a right hand the first one is good and Wilcox gets on the board the Mustangs open up a 10 point lead that foul by the way went to Ryan Toon and that is his second for the Bears second free throw is good by Wilcox and the Mustangs lead by 11 Again, full court pressure by the Mustangs and a foul. Chris Jansen fouled by Jeff Baugh. Those things happen when the team is in full court uh, defense. They're prone to foul just a little bit more, but that's something that a coach will accept uh, with those turnovers that also come because of the full court pressure. Fair River inbounds. Bird has it in the backcourt. 
hesitantly dribbles and gives into the front court to Barris, who stands, picked up by Greg Cook, who's checked in for Eric Baugh. Barris goes all the way in, layup, good. And Greg Cook is called for the foul, so Barris goes all the way to the hole. An acrobatic off-balance shot goes in, and Greg Cook will pick up his first foul. That is the 14th, third team foul on Mountain Crest. Cook's first. So Barris will try and cut this down to an eight-point Mountain Crest lead with a free throw. Barris scored just six points in the last meeting between these two. He's got three as he converts the three-point play. Cook. Quickly into the front court on the angle right. Dave Simmons also into the game for the first time for the Mustangs. Jeff Baugh, angle left. Pump fakes, gives out Simmons. Simmons, top of the key to Cook. Dribbles out near midcourt. Holds his hand over his head, gives to Simmons. Out to Ben Lishman, to Wilcox. Wilcox underneath to Simmons, and a foul called on. Uh, I'm not sure who that will be called on, either Ben Lishman or Greg Cook, an illegal pick. Uh, trying to free up. Dave Simmons, and that's called on Cook, his second. 14, 15 foul on the Mustangs. A minute 22 left in the first quarter. Mountain Crest leading Bear River 16 to 8. Wade Barris racing into the front court, into the corner. Brager, he'll put up a three. This one's good. He's two for two from downtown, and he's got six points. Cook on the baseline to Jeff Baugh. He holds. Bear River in a man to man defense. Top of the key, Simmons right side to Cook. Cook looks underneath for Lishman. He turns in on Burt. Doesn't shoot it, back out to Cook. One minute exactly left in this first quarter. It's a five point Mountain Crest lead. They've led by as many as 11. Top of the key, Wilcox, left side, Cook. Cook goes on Barris, drives, shoots, and scores, but the basket will not count. They wave it off as they, as they say Barris fouled Cook on the dribble drive. And Mountain Crest will get the ball out of bounds under their own basket. With 49 seconds left here in the first quarter, Mountain Crest leading 16-11. Simmons in the corner to Jeff Baugh. Jeff Baugh out top of the key to Cook. Cook backs it out. Bear River now in his own defense. Christiansen out to meet Cook, and he hands over to Simmons. In the corner to Jeff Baugh. Dribbles back out, gives to Simmons. Cross-court pass to Cook. He looks baseline now to the free throw line. Cross-court to Simmons. He'll pop a three. This one's good. Dave Simmons, his first shot of the game, and it's a three-pointer. Quickly, Barris down court with 20 seconds on the clock. Down low, Brager fakes. Leans in over Wilcox, misses a shot. Rebound, Mountain Crest. Cook on the run, right side, Simmons. Fakes, turns it back out to Cook. Nine seconds, eight seconds left in the first quarter. Mountain Crest up, 19-11. Cook, dribble, spins in the lane, leans in. Left-hand shot, no good. Rebound, Wade Barris. And that's the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, Mountain Crest leads Bear River 19-11. We'll be back with the second quarter right after this. Getting set to start the second quarter, 19-11, the Mustangs on top of the Bears. Another score of interest, Ben Lohman leading Skyview in the second quarter by 2 15 Brager with the ball into the corner to Bears for the Bears. Down low, Toon fakes, leans in. Right hand shots, an air ball, rebound. Kyle Christensen is taken away by Christy Anson, and they call it jump ball, so Mountain Crest will get it as Christy Anson aggressively went after that ball, and Christensen couldn't get it away from him. Mountain Crest will inbound in the backcourt. Jeff Crosby to Eric Baugh. Also in the game for Mountain Crest, Christensen, Rudd, and Conger. Rudd with a southpaw dribble into the front court. Man to man defense again by the Bears. Conger dribbles in and kicks it back out to Christensen, crosses. The pack crosses it over to Eric Baugh, who drives into the lane, kicks it out. Crosby fakes the three, goes down low to Baugh, gives it right side. Rudd misses a layup, and Bird with a rebound, but it's taken away by Crosby. The outlet pass was stolen, and Conger with it. Crosses down low, Christensen underneath the Rudd. Rudd turns in, leans away, shot, bounces once, misses. Rebound, Christiansen again, it's knocked away from behind. This time a foul called on Crosby. Again, a special thanks to Rocky Mountain Cellular, making the most of your time, Rocky Mountain Cellular. And already uh, into the bonus, Bear River will shoot free throws, and that's Christy Anson who will go to the line. Christy Anson scored three points the last meeting between these teams. He hit one three-point shot, and he'll have a chance at free throws. And now they're saying it 
may just be the 16th foul. I'm not sure. So they are going to say it's the 16th foul, and Robertson will check in for Christy Anson. 19-11, 7-10 left here in this first half. Mountain Crest with the eight-point lead. Bird in the backcourt, almost throws it away. Barris controls it. Still got it, he's double teamed. To Bird in the backcourt, they need to hurry. Robertson into the front court. finally Toon. A 15-footer from the baseline left, good. Toon with four points. Quickly down court, Conger. Turns it back out top of the key right side in the corner, Eric Baugh. Dribbles in, the ball's almost taken away. Kicks it back out to Conger, top of the key, Christensen. He dribbles a couple of times, hands over to Conger. Conger picked up by Robertson. Conger, the leading scorer for Mountain Crest last, two last game, with 26 points. Baugh, free throw line jumper by Rudd's good. Matt Rudd picks up his first bucket of the game, and Matt Rudd really has shown that he can hit that shot from about 15 feet in. Now all the way down court, Toon on the baseline. Crosby quickly down to meet him. He's double teamed, dribbles once, kicks it out to Barris at the top of the key. He tries to drive in, gives out to Brager. Another three, this one's also good. Brager, three for three from downtown. He's got nine points. And the Mustangs lead 21-16, 6.03 left in the first half. Christensen on the angle right, fakes the three. Top of the key, Crosby. Underneath Rudd, the ball's knocked away. Christensen comes up with it. Still on the angle left. Baugh fakes the three, leans into the lane. A 10-footer, no good. Rebound, Baugh and Bird fight for it. Bird controls to Barris. Barris crosses over in the backcourt. Finally into the front court. Left hand all the way in. Right hand shot, no good, and a foul. A blocking foul called, I think, on Matt Rudd. That puts... Bear River into the bonus the rest of this half. And for Matt Rudd, I think just his first foul. But that is the 17th foul on Mountain Crest. Christensen and Conger check out to take a rest. And J.J. Nelson and Dave Simmons come into the ballgame. And you know, we've talked about it throughout the season, but Mountain Crest really has 9 or 10, uh, maybe even 11 players they can go to throughout the game. And that definitely... Uh, helps the fatigue factor. Barris misses the first free throw and the score remains 21-16 Mountain Crest. Barris to get set for his second free throw. It is good. He's two for three from line. He's got four points on the night. The Mustangs lead 21-17, 5.40 left in the first half. On the angle right top of the key, Crosby. Swings it down to the corner of the ball. He fakes the three. Gets under the rudd. A turnaround jumper in the lane. Rattles in. Matt Rudd, a nice shot. His fourth point of this quarter. And the Mustangs back up by six. Christy Anson to Barris. Still in the back court. Comes into the front court with a right hand dribble. The ball's almost knocked away. Barris still controls on the baseline. Picks up his dribble. The ball's knocked away. Taken away. Eric Baugh with a steal. Slows it down into the front court. Right side, J.J. Nilsson. Takes a long three off the front of the iron. Rebound tipped around Leo Robertson for the Bears. Into the front court on the angle left, Christiansen. Passes underneath the burden. It's knocked away again. A turnover by Bear River. Mountain Crest pushing in the other way. Baugh into the lane. Leans in. The ball's knocked away and a foul on Wade Barris. Barris, his second foul. And Barris' last game between these two was plagued with foul trouble. And he will sit down, and Quinn Stevens will check in for Mountain Crest. Dave Harrison here with you, and glad you could join us. This game, uh, Mountain Crest needs to win this ball game if they want to stay alive in state tournament uh, possibilities. Five teams from Region 5 will go. Mountain Crest right now uh, alone in the fifth position, but two teams tied for fourth or tied for third, Logan and Ogden, and they are playing tonight. That game just getting underway. Baugh, 79% from the line, hits his first free throw. Bear River, on the other hand, pretty much eliminated from state tournament possibility. They are 0-8. They would need to win all of their games and hope that the bottom dropped out of a couple of teams. Baugh knocks down both free throws. He's now... Four for, three for four from the line tonight. Christiansen double teamed in the front court, crosses it over into the corner, Brager. Brager three for three from downtown tonight. Christiansen dribbles down to the baseline. Man-to-man -man defense by the Mustangs. Toon at the free throw line right. Into the corner, Christiansen, he drives baseline, throws the ball, tries to get it across to Brager, and it's taken away by Crosby to Baugh. Six turnovers by Bear River. Top of the key, 
Crosby, a three, shot's no good. Rebound, J.J. Nelson gets it up high, and he's tied up. And that will be Bear River ball as Quinn Stevens tied up J.J. Nelson. 4.21 left in the first half, 25-17. The Mustangs lead by eight. And the ball to be inbounded. Quinn Stevens has got it. He's trapped, but gets it down to Brager. He'll put up another three. This one's too long in the rebound. Foul called on Ryan Toon pushing off as he tried to clear out J.J. Nelson. That's Toon's third foul, and that could prove costly as he is the leading scorer for Bear River in region play, averaging 12 points a game. He had 13 the last time these two teams met. Mountain Crest is now in the bonus. I think Eric Ball will step to the line. I thought J.J. Nelson was the one that was fouled, but maybe not. We'd like to thank Taco Time, celebrating 25 years this, this year for making this game possible. 4.15 left in the first half. Eric Baugh at the line, three for four from the line tonight with a one and one. It's the first. And he's got four points for the night. Gets set for his second. Takes his time, as always. Puts it up with the right hand, and it's good. Ben Lishman will check into the game, and Jeff Crosby will check out. Valley Medals, your hometown people, sponsoring your hometown team. Leo Robertson to inbound. Mountain Crest with a 10-point lead. Quinn Stevens has got it. Over to Roberts. Christiansen, Robertson now into the front court. Quinn Stevens almost walks with it. Keeps control between the circles. Robertson swings it. Left side, Chris Jansen, top of the key, Quinn Stevens. The ball's knocked away by Simmons. Christian er, Stevens has got it. Back into the front court on the angle right. Just Chris Jansen quickly goes baseline, leads in for 15 shots, no good. Rebound up, fought for, and a foul coming over the back of Nate Wilcox is called, I think, on Chris Jansen. And yes, that's the case. So Nate Wilcox will go to the free throw line, and Chris Jansen picks up his first foul. And Wilcox, 82% from the line, will step to the line tonight. Wilcox, two for two, and he's got two points. San Francisco Sourdough Pizza, fresh hot pizza and delivery to Millville, Nibley, and Providence with locations in both Logan and Providence. So might want to call down there, have them cook you up a pie and send it out to your house for the second half of this game. Mountain Crest leads by 10. First free throw by Wilcox is up and good. Mustangs up by 11 now. We'd also like to thank Thorn Apple Valley. Tri Miller located in Hiram employing great Cash Valley people. Wilcox misses a second free throw and the Mustangs lead by 11. Stevens pressured, falls down, controls to Bird. Bird holds back to Quinn Stevens. Mountain Chris has really put a lot of pressure on the Bear River guards. Now Robertson goes all the way to the hole. A nice drive and scores. First bucket for him tonight. Quickly down court Simmons on the angle left, fakes the three. J.J. Nilsson on the angle right. Left hand dribble, spins at the free throw line, kicks it out to Baugh underneath Wilcox, fakes the shot, kicks it out into the backcourt. Mountain Crest saves it. Baugh, a nice job there. And he's got the ball back at the top of the key. Crossover dribble, flips down, and a foul on Quinn Stevens, pushing Eric Baugh. Stevens, his first foul, and Eric Baugh will go to the free throw line to shoot the one and one with uh, Mountain Crest leading 28-19, 3-12 left in the first half. We're also brought to you tonight by Linz Audio and Video. When you're looking for the best in video cameras, get a cannon from Linz. Eric Baugh with the first of the one and one free throws. USU Community Credit Union with the lowest interest rates in years. Now is the time to refinance your home. You better hurry. It looks like interest rates might be going up. Hurry on down to USU Community Credit Union while they're still low. Ba now eight for nine from the free throw line. Excuse me, seven for eight from the free throw line. We'll check out. Greg Cook checks in. The Mustangs back up by 11. Robertson to Stevens to Bird near midcourt. Ball's almost taken away to Stevens. Still in the backcourt. Down on the right side to Christiansen. Leans in underneath the breaker. Gets a shot up and in. Somehow he got that ball up and already 11 points for Brager, the sophomore. On the angle left, into the corner, Cook, he holds. The ball's knocked away and stolen by Stevens, and now he's pushed as Greg Cook 
knocked Stevens to the floor, and Stevens will go to the free throw line to shoot the one and one, and Cook with three fouls for Mountain Crest. And Cook has seen substantial action in the last few Mountain Crest games, spelling Eric Bond, doing a nice job. He usually was very effective, a good rebounder for a guard and a good hustler, smart ball player, but he's got three fouls, and uh, he stays in the game. Well, actually, I lied. Eric Ball's coming in as I say that. Quinn Stevens goes to the line for Bear River, and Stevens had a bucket in the last game between these two. First free throw is no good, and the rebound is fought for. Simmons comes up with it, gives down underneath to buy, misses a free throw, and Bear River with the rebound. Stevens quickly into the front court. Veers right, gives to Bird. Bird fakes the three, leans in from 15. The shot off the glass is no good. A rebound, Brager, the sophomore for the Bears. Underneath Toon, Bird, a layup. Uh, bank shot's good. Bird gets on the board, his first two, and it's a seven-point Mountain Crest lead at 30-23. Simmons, top of the key, Lishman. Down in the corner to Eric Ball. The ball's knocked away by Stevens. Mountain Crest gets it back. 2.17 left in this first half. The Mustangs with a seven-point lead over the Bear River Bears. And once again, Bear River is being led by the sophomore, Brian Brager, averaging 10 points a game, had 17 the last meeting, and already with 11 tonight. Lishman at the top of the key, he holds, gives over to Simmons on the angle left. Simmons drives into the lane, leads in from 10, shot no good, a rebound. Brager, the sophomore, and he's doing it all for the Bears. Two minutes left in the first half. On the angle right, Chris Jansen into the corner. The ball's knocked away by Simmons, goes out of bounds, and Bear River gets the ball back. Edwards Furniture, more than 100 years of serving Cache Valley. Edwards Furniture, a proud sponsor of Mountain Crest Basketball. Christy Anson to inbound to Bird. Near midcourt, he holds. Gives over to Robertson. Mountain Crest drops back into the zone. Quinn Stevens dribbles on the angle left. Chris Jansen at the top of the key now. Down in the corner to Stevens. He dribbles. Robertson now, top of the key. Stevens on the angle right. He holds, gives back to Robertson on the baseline. He dribbles once. He's double teamed. Blishman and Simmons to Christians in a minute and a half and now a uh, three-point attempt is no good by Robertson. Rebound J.J. Nilsson on the run. Eric Ball on the angle left. He's still got the dribble alive. Goes into the lane. Tries to give over to Wilcox. The ball's taken away by Bird. He saves it inbounds behind the back dribble by Stevens into the front court. On the angle left. A 15-footer by Christiansen. Shot around and out. Rebound Wilcox. So Mountain Crest dodges a bullet there. They lead by seven with a minute five left in this first half. Underneath, Lishman leans in with a right hand. Shot no good. Partially blocked by Brager. And Bear, uh, Bear River with a rebound. 55 seconds left in the first half. Leo Robertson on the angle right into the corner to Stevens. Stevens holds to Christiansen. Free throw line jumper by Brager. This one's short. Rebound Wilcox again for the Mustangs. Down court Simmons on the angle left. Look for him to spot up for a three. He does. This one's no good. Hard, and it goes over the backboard. Out of bounds. Bear River ball. Downs printing for big jobs to small ones. Weddings and personal. See us first at Downs Printing and Hiram. We're also brought to you by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola bottling company of Logan. We thank them. Christy Anson inbounds the ball. That's number 23. Jason Hawes into the game for the first time. The ball is taken away. J.J. Nilsson on the angle left to Eric Ball. Looks underneath for Wilcox. He's got him. Turns in. Right hand. Shot rolls around and out. Rebound to Riggs for the Bears. 20 seconds. Down court quickly. Hawes. He's got it on the angle right. Dribbles once. Kicks it back out to Christiansen who holds. Goes into the lane to Brager. Leans in over Wilcox. Shot no good. Up high. Lishman with a rebound. Nine seconds and a foul on Brager. So not a smart play by Brager. Only nine seconds on the clock, and Mountain Crest had to go the length of the floor. Now Ben Lishman will shoot free throws as the Mustangs are a bonus. So despite the fact that Mountain Crest is only leading by seven, Bear River's not been able to cut, <coughs> excuse me, that lead down for the last minute and a half or so. And Ben Lishman at the line for the Mustangs. Lishman 63% from the line this year. First one's up and good. His first point tonight. And he gets set for another one. 
Now Kyle Christensen comes in and J.J. Nilsson checks out. The Mustangs with the eight-point lead, 31-23. Lishman will try and make that nine. Dribbles a couple of times at the line. Takes his time with the right hand. This one's good. Two for two from the line by Lishman. And the Mustangs with a nine-point lead. Hawes into the front court on the angle right to Robertson underneath. Brager leans in from 10. Shots no good as time expires in this first half. The Mountain Crest Mustangs with a 32-23 lead over the Bear River Bears. We'll be back right after this. The halftime score, Mountain Crest 32, Bear River 23. Dave Harrison here with you alongside of me, Doyle Geddeson. Doyle's got the first half running score, the scoring rundown. Okay, both teams at the half feature one player each in double figures. Of course, Mountain Crest with J.J. Nielsen picking all of those up in the first five minutes. He was on fire. Uh, followed by Eric Baugh with seven. Uh, every one of those coming from the free throw line. Uh, Matt Rudd with four. Three apiece for Nate Wilcox and Dave Simmons. Dave Simmons hit a three. Nate Wilcox got his from the free throw line. Ben Lishman with two. Uh, both of those coming from the free throw line. That rounds out Mountain Crest scoring. Looking at Bear River, Brian Brager on a strong three performance. Uh, he hit three of them with 11 points, uh, adding one field goal to, to make that total. Two players each with four, Ryan Toon and Wade Barris. And then also two players each with two, Leo Robertson and Kelly Bird. So Mount Crest, it looks like they've done a good job stopping the inside game of Bear River. Uh, the three three-pointers by Brager uh, has really been the key for Bear River to stay in the game uh, at the half. Yeah, he, that's that's really been been it. And he pretty much shot those uncontested. That's one thing if I, Mountain Crest, I don't want to see that happen. This Here's a kid that can shoot him. Let's at least get some pressure on him. And, uh, uh, and Bear River, the, the inside opportunities are there. They get their back to the basket on that high post and don't do a good job of turning and seeing backdoor cutters, but they are there. So maybe if I'm Bear River, I'm thinking, let's make sure we locate those guys and hit them on the back door. Yeah, they seem to be a little bit uncomfortable uh, on that shot. And Ryan Toon, incidentally, with three fouls, the leading scorer during region play for the Bears, averaging 12 points a game. Last time against Mount Crest, he had 13 at the half, just four points. So Mountain Crest has done a nice job slowing him down a little bit. So we're getting set to start this second half. And again, a special thanks to Rocky Mountain Cellular, U.S. West number one authorized agent of U.S. West Cellular here in the Valley. And again, a sponsor of Mountain Crest basketball and a special thanks to them. The ball is inbounded. We are underway. Eric Baugh dribbles into the front court. Quinn Stevens guards him man-to-man. -man. J.J. Nielsen picked up by Kelly Bird. Crosby holds, goes underneath to J.J., and the ball goes out of bounds as Crosby tried to find J.J. Nilsson cutting to the basket. Mountain Crest now in a full-court pressure defense. The ball inbounded to Leo Robertson. Mountain Crest looking to trap. Quinn Stevens still in the front court to Brager. A nice job breaking the trap by Bear River with the pass, and they throw it away. And the ball is saved inbounds by Stevens to Conger. He goes all the way in for the layup. Good. And Dan Conger, his first points of the game. Quickly down court, Stevens, right side, Toon, a 15-footer, good. So Toon with six points, and it's still a nine-point Mountain Crest lead. 34-25, Baugh on the right side to Conger. Crosby at the top of the key, goes underneath, nice pass to Rudd, he lays it up, misses it, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. So Rudd with a rebound, and a bucket, the Mustangs up by 11. Stevens with the ball in the back court. Passes cross court to Leo Robertson. Dribbles into the front court southpaw style. He walks with it and he's called. And a turnover on Bear River. They're first of the half. And they had seven in the first half. Or second of the half, excuse me. So they've got nine for the game. 7-0-1 left in the third. Just underway here in this third quarter. Dave Harrison here with you. At Mustang Arena. The Mustangs and the Bears. Baugh. Conger on the angle right dribbles. Leaves it for J.J. who drives all the way in. Shot, count it, and a foul. J.J. Nilsson has really uh, been impressive offensively tonight, and it looked easy for him. It's looked easy for him this in the early going here. In the early going of the game, he had 13 points in about the first five or six minutes, and he gets the bucket and the foul. He'll try and make this three-point play count. And the Mustangs have a 38-25 lead with 6.50 left in the third, their biggest of the game. Free throw is good by J.J. He 
has got 16 points for the Mustangs. Quinn Stevens in the backcourt to Robertson. He holds, goes down court to Kelly Bird on the angle right into the corner. Brager, he holds, doesn't look for the three. Clears it back out near midcourt to Robertson. Brager back on the angle right with the ball into the corner. Robertson. Stevens now with it, dribbles a couple of times, goes to the free throw line, Bird cutting Robertson, shot's good. A nice look there from Kelly Bird, Robertson gets the bucket, he's got four points. Quickly down court on the angle right, top of the key, Crosby holds underneath Rudd, Rudd fakes, turns, shot off the glass, is no good, rebound, Brager. The ball's knocked away by Crosby, he lays it up and in. Crosby gets on the board for the first time. The Mustangs open up a big 41-27 lead with 6.05 left in the third. Stevens trying to break the Mountain Crest press, does. Goes underneath, two, layup, good. Couple of ways to break a press. One's by the pass, one's by the dribble, and a nice job there. Now JJ, a three is short, rebound to Bird. And Stevens last time broke the Mountain Crest press all by himself, going coast to coast, and found two to open underneath for the layup. On the angle right, Breaker fakes the three. Now he pulls up. Shot no good and a foul. And they say he was fouled on the shot, so he'll get three free throws. And the foul called on Jeff Crosby. And for Jeff, that's his second foul. And Brager tonight, 11 points, has not shot a free throw, uh, but is a good free throw shooter. Last time against the Mustangs, hit both of his shots from the charity strike. Central Park, the best deal, the best meal at 890 North Main, uh, Mustang game sponsor. We're also brought to you by Morris Travel. When you travel with us, we go together, Morris Travel, at 1400, at 165 East, 1400 North, and they are an ex American Express travel agency. Brager hits the first free throw, and now two Mustangs to check out. Matt Rudd and Dan Conger and Dave Simmons and Ben Lish, or excuse me, Nate Wilcox come into the game. Mustangs lead by 12, but uh, with a couple of free throws left, Brager can cut it down to 10 points. Gets set with the right hand, shot is good. I think I missed his first free throw. He missed his first free throw and hit his, his last two. So it's a 41-30 Mountain Crest lead. Simmons, top of the key, on the angle left to Baugh in the corner. Crosby, Baugh at the top of the key. Picked up by Stevens, he knocks the ball away, but Crosby comes up with it. Dribbling with the right hand, he goes all the way in, scoops it up, misses it. Rebound, Brager, Robertson into the front court with a southpaw dribble. Backs it back out, cross court to Stevens. Stevens back to Robertson. He holds. Now Stevens in the corner to Brager. Brager fakes the three, backs it back out. Doesn't shoot it. Between the circles, Robertson. Stevens on the angle left, drives in, kicks it back out and throws it to his coach. Out of bounds. 4.59 left in this third quarter. And the Mustangs with a 41-31 lead over the Bears. Eric Baugh dribbles it up slowly, calls for play three. Bear River in the man-to-man -man defense. In the corner, Simmons. Crosby on the angle right to Baugh. Back to Simmons, open from three. This one is no good, rattles out. Rebound tuned for the Bears. Same spot that Dave him and Simmons hit the three-pointer from. Now the ball's picked off by J.J. Uh, what I was saying, Simmons took that three against Ogden and won the game in double overtime. Crosby, top of the key, a three-pointer. Shot rattles around and out. J.J. Nilsson comes flying in, does not take the rebound away from Kelly Bird. Stevens with a dribble alive into the front court. Picks it up. Right side, Brager. He'll put up a three. Shot's good. And Mountain Chris has got to get out on him. Fourth three-pointer of the game for Brager. J.J. Nilsson from the same spot. Shot's good. J.J. answers right back. He's now got 18, 19 points in the ball game. Stevens holds on the angle right to Brager. Brager, the sophomore, playing very well for Bear River. Stevens, angle left. He holds. Skip pass. Top of the key. Now Brager holds. Backs it out to Robertson. Free throw line jumper by Kelly Bird. Rattles around and out. No good. Rebound, though. Bird gets it back and puts it up and in. Bird, four points on the game, and the Mustangs lead by eight, 44-36. Baugh kicks it out. J.J., another three. Yes, J.J. Nelson. Wow. J.J. Nelson and Brian Brager are trading blows. The Mustangs up now, 47-36. And for J.J., almost a steal in the backcourt. And 
and Kelly Bird called for the foul as he and Eric Baugh collided. And it looks like both players are all right, and Mount Chris will get the ball. Uh, let me count up JJ's points really quick. At the half, he had 13. 22, 21 points for him now in the ball game. Wow, JJ has put on a performance tonight. So now the official to wipe up some moisture from the floor where Kelly Bird and Eric Ball collided and went down. Mountain Chris will have the ball out of bounds in front of their own bench. And we'd like to thank Rocky Mountain Cellular again for sponsoring Mountain Crest basketball. And it looks like 22 points is, is what we come up with for J.J. Nielsen. And we've still got 317 left in the third quarter. Mountain Crest up by 11. Baugh at the top of the key, swings it over to Simmons who drives into the lane. Nice dish, left side, Crosby, layup, no good. Rebound, fought for, and Bear Rivers, Robertson with it. Christiansen now into the game for the Bears, has the ball into the front court. Looks for Toon at the free throw line right. Cabrega, a three from the corner. This one's no good. Rebound, Baugh after it hits the floor. Baugh slows it down, gives right side to Simmons. Simmons fakes, crossover dribble, top of the key, Baugh. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, two. Toon to Christiansen to the front court. That's uh, number 21, and he travels or slips, and the ball goes out of bounds. That's Courtney Jones into the game for the first time. Fifth turnover in this half for Bear River, and that compares to just one for Mountain Crest. Three total is all Mountain Crest has turned the ball over, and so that is keeping them into the ball game. Top of the key, Wilcox, Crosby. Doesn't look for the three into the corner to Simmons. Simmons back to Crosby. Cross court to Wilcox, 15-footer baseline left, no good rebound. J.J. Nilsson has it. Top of the key, Eric Ball fakes the three, drives into the lane, hesitates, goes all the way in, right-hand shots blocked from behind and a foul. So Justin Christiansen with that foul is second. No, that's called on Brager. And Brager will pick up his first and just the second and third team foul. And now a timeout on the floor. So Mountain Crest with a 47-36 lead, 2.20 left in the third. We'll be right back. It takes a lot to be a free throw line to shoot two shots. Mustangs lead 47-36, 2.20 left in the ball game. And Baugh has gone seven for eight from the line tonight and seven points with the right hand shots good boy eric ball really goes to the free throw line a lot uh, this season eric has shot 100 excuse me yeah 119 free throws the next closest player on mountain crest is 54 free throws by dan conger so he hits both free throws and he will come out of the ball game and Greg Cook checks in. Jeff Ball also into the game. The ball in the back court. Robertson's got it. Left side to Courtney Jones. Left hand dribble into the front court. Gives baseline. Brager leans in. Shot's good. Nice pass. And Brager goes hard to the hole. And Brager has hit four three-pointers tonight. Leads the way with Bear River. Now Wilcox, a turnaround. Jumper in lanes. No good. Lishman, though, with a rebound. He puts it up and in. Ben Lishman with four points, his first field goal of the night, and two free throws. Two near midcourt, holds the ball. Dribbles across the timeline, picks up his dribble. Looks for Christiansen, finally goes to him on the angle right. Down low, Brager. Turns in on Wilcox, the ball's knocked away. Brager comes up with it, almost travels, gives it out top of the key. Robertson, now Courtney Jones on the angle left. Back to Robertson, he holds the ball. Cook out on him, Mount Crest in his own defense. In the corner, Brager. Brager pressured by Jeff, Crowd, Jeff Ball. Between the circles, Christiansen. Free throw line two, turns in. 15-footer, shot's good. Two 10 points on the night. And now it looks like uh, Eric Ball will come into the game, and Greg Cook, who turned an ankle, it appears, will sit down. Normally, a player's not allowed to come into the game after a made basket, but because of an injury, uh, it looks as if they allow that. Now Coach John Nielsen is arguing with the official, I'm not sure what for. Eric Baugh to the front court. Lishman on the angle left, holds. Wilcox top of the key. Baugh on the angle right. Christiansen on him. Simmons a three from the angle left. This one's good. Simmons his second three-pointer of the game. Six points, and the Mustangs open up a 14-point lead with a minute and one seconds left in this third quarter. 
And Skyview at the end of the third quarter has a 16 point lead over Ben Lohman, 50 to 34. And Ogden leading Logan at the end of the first quarter, 13 11. Christy Anson spins, gives to Courtney Jones into the front court. Jones dribbles into the corner to Toon. Toon dribbles once back to Courtney Jones, who drives into the lane, leans in, shot off the glass, counted, and a foul. Nice play. Courtney Jones didn't look like he really had control of the ball too well, but had control enough to put it up and in, and he's fouled. So Jones with his first bucket, and he will have a chance to make that a three-point play, and Jones just the sophomore. So Bear River really has a good crop of young talent, some juniors and sophomores that really have played well, and hopefully, hopefully for them, they'll be able to pull out of a slump that they've been in the last few years. Free throws no good, and the rebound fought for by four Mustangs goes out of bounds, and Bear River will get the ball back. 54-42, the Mustangs up by 12, 41 seconds left in the third. Robertson inbounds into the corner to Christiansen, out to Brager at the top of the key. He holds and dribbles once. Gives it back to the right side to Christiansen. 33 seconds on the clock in the corner, Brager. They don't want to let him shoot another three. Robertson to Jones, back to Robertson between the circles to Brager. Brager looks for the threes, double teamed into the corner to Robertson. Robertson to Jones on the block, spins in, layup no good, and a foul. So Courtney Jones is six feet tall, six foot one, but he turned in with authority there and put the shot up, and that foul will go on Nate Wilcox, his first foul, and Mountcrest was just their third foul. So maybe a gift there from the official for Jones on that foul, but Jones still at the free throw line, 0 for 1 tonight. First one's an, oh, it's an air ball. Oh, and he's hearing it from the crowd. 19 seconds left on the clock. Jones will try and wipe that one off. We'll see if he hits the backboard first. He's got to get a little bit of leg into this one. This one is good. One for three from the line for Jones. Three points, and it's an 11-point Mountain Crest lead with 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Bob with a right-hand dribble into the front court, working against Justin Christiansen. Crossover dribble into the lane. He's fouled. And that will be a one and one free throw situation. No, it won't. Mountain Crest will get the ball out of bounds uh, on the side as Baugh turned and dished that ball off. Now Jeff Crosby checks in and Ben Lishman will check out. Mountain Crest will have nine seconds to get a shot off here as we wind down this third quarter. They lead by 11 in the corner. Jeff Baugh, he holds, he sets up and shoots, misses, bounces around, and the rebound to Jones. He controls, and that shot at the end of the third quarter does not go. So at the end of three, Mountain Crest leads Ben Loam, Bear River, 54-43. We'll be right back. Tonight, Mountain Crest will try and get their fourth win to go four and five in region, but Bear River looking for their first region win. Fighting a hard battle. Courtney Jones almost loses it, top of the key. Robertson, has got it. Brager on the angle right. Crosby on him into the corner to Robertson. Across the lane, two and open underneath. Misses an easy layup and the ball's knocked away out of bounds. Mountain Crest will get the ball back. So two, usually a, a pretty consistent score from down low, misses an easy layup. He hesitated and he looked like he may have been intimidated by Nate Wilcox. Mountain Crest with the ball. Crosby, top of the key, Wilcox. Sarah Barr on the angle right. Looks underneath for Crosby. Turnaround jumper on the baseline right. No good. A rebound fought for on the floor. Still two. Finally comes up with it for the Bears. Christiansen with 7.25 left in the ball game. His team down by 11 into the front court. On the angle right to Brager. Brager holds. Robertson drives into the lane. Stops. Kicks it back out to Toon. He'll put up a 15-footer. Shots no good. A rebound though. Courtney Jones to Robertson, open from three, shot is no good, hard, rebound, Brager, up high, and he's fouled on the rebound by Jeff Crosby, and Jeff picks up his third foul, fourth Mustang team foul, and Bear River gets the ball out of bounds under their own basket. Again, we thank Rocky Mountain Cellular, U.S. West's number one authorized agent for cellular phones here in the Valley. We thank them for sponsoring Mount Crest Basketball. Jones fakes the three. Chris Jansen dribbles a couple of times top of the key underneath. Brager turns in. Nice move. Shots no good, though. Rebound fought for 
And J.J. Nelson tears it away from Christy Anson to Baugh. Baugh quickly into the front court. Stops, hesitates, kicks out. Simmons, a three from the angle left shot. It's no good, hard. And it goes over the backboard, out of bounds. Bear River gets it back. So uh, yet to have any points scored with a minute 14 gone by here in the fourth. 54-43, the Mustangs on top. Mountain Crest outscored Bear River 22-20 to in that third quarter to take the 11-point lead. Courtney Jones drives all the way in. A wild shot, no good. Rebound Wilcox. He's still double teamed it. Fouled the backcourt. Nobody calls it. Down court, right side. JJ fakes the three. Back out to Eric Ball. Takes his time. Gets the Mustang offense set. Dribbles off, right side. Leans in. Shot, no good. Hard. Rebound fought for Crosby right there. Wilcox right there. And the ball is taken down by Robertson. Racing down court with a right hand dribble. Spins it back out to Christy Anson. He holds back to Robertson. Goes baseline. The ball's knocked away from behind. Two comes up with it. Shot. No good. Rebound. Robertson puts it up and in. Six points for Robertson. And it's a nine-point Mountain Crest lead. Quickly down court Simmons. Looks underneath Wilcox. Back to Simmons in the corner. A three. Shot is no good. Rebound. Crosby there. Puts it up with the left hand and he's fouled. Mountain Crest has done a nice job uh, going to the offensive board. Something that has not been a strength for them, but Crosby is very active on the boards and a good leaper. Uh, he, along with J.J. Nelson, have been very effective down low. Jeff will shoot two free throws. 5.51 left in the ball game. That foul goes to number 41, Ryan Toon, his fourth. So the official taking his time with the ball. Hands to Crosby, and Jeff will shoot two free throws. Jeff yet to shoot a free throw tonight. Knocks down the first one. Bridge on Apply Technology Center, over 90% placement through their program. Second one's up and good by Jeff, and he's got four points. The Mustangs back up by 11, 56-45. Christy Anson with a dribble. Baseline to Robertson. He holds, looks for Jones underneath, can't find him. Top of the key to Brager. Guarded closely by Jeff Crosby. Brager dribbles a couple of times. Back to Robertson, fakes the drive. Into the lane to Toon, top of the key. Christy Anson back to Toon with his back to the basket of the free throw line. He turns in, can't find a shot. Bounce pass to Brager, almost gets away. Brager's got it. Robertson on the angle left. He holds, baseline to Christy Anson, turns in. Ball guards him nicely. Toon, a 15-footer from the angle left, no good. Rebound on the floor, and Courtney Jones comes down with it for the Bears. 5.15 left in the ball game. Mustangs up by 11. Toon at the free throw line, turns in for a jumper. Shots no good. Rebound Dave Simmons. Simmons comes down with it, all the way down court, Jeff Crosby. Comes across the lane, right hand scoop shots, no good. And Jeff Crosby will shoot free throws. Ben Lishman will check into the ball game. And I think he'll check in for Jeff Crosby. And John, Coach John Nelson didn't look real happy about the way Jeff Crosby went across the lane. Now it looks like there's going to be a timeout on the floor. There is. Coach Rex McKee from Bear River calls a timeout. His team down by 11. 56-45, Mount Crest up 5.02 left in the ball game. We'll be right back. Jeff Crosby will be at the free throw line for the Mustangs, and he will shoot two free throws. 5.02 left in the game, Mustangs up 56-45. A couple of other scores with about five minutes left in the game. Skyview leads Ben Lohman 54-44, and in the third quarter, just... Uh, winding down, Logan leads Ogden 25-22. Crosby's first free throw is up and good. Second one is also good. And he checks out of the game with six points. Four for four from the free throw line. Ben Lishman now in for Mountain Crest. Christy Anson quickly into the front court with a right-hand dribble. Mustangs up by 13. Brager, three from the right side. Shots no good. Rebound Simmons. Simmons looks down court, doesn't find anybody. Hands over to Ball. Back to Simmons, right side. Top of the key, Rudd. Doesn't look for the shot. Cross, or J.J. on the angle left in the corner. Baugh, Simmons, angle left. Three shots, good! Dave Simmons, his third three-pointer of the game. Nine points for Dave. The Mustangs with a 61-45 lead. 16-point lead for the Mustangs, their biggest of the night. Down low, two turns in. He's triple team. Puts a shot up and in, though. And 12 for him. Two for the Bears. Nice shot. J.J. Nilsson fakes, hesitate, drive, and gives out to Rudd. 16-footer, shot wide left and the rebound to Jones. Christy Anson, Bear River trying to push the ball up. Robertson pulls up from 10, shots way hard. Rebound, though, Toon's got it. 
misses the shot, and Rudd comes down with a rebound. Four minutes left in the ball game, and Eric Boss slows things down, walks the ball into the front court. He's got the dribble alive, tries to break down Christiansen, drives, spins in the lane, lanes in, shots partially blocked. Toon comes up with it. He's double teamed on the baseline, and finally a foul called. I thought they may call a jump ball, but Ben Lishman called for the foul. Reaching in, and Ben picks up his just his first foul. 61-47, Mountain Crest leads by 14. 347 left in the ballgame. Bear River still looking for their first region win there, 0-8. Christiansen into the front court to Toon at the free throw line. Toon still holds, turns. Pulls up from 15, shots good. A nice looking shot by Toon, and he's got 14 points. And he is above his average, averaging 11.8 points per game in region play. Ba with a dribble to J.J. Nilsson, top of the key to Lishman. Looks underneath, can't find anybody. Rudd holds on the angle right, nobody guards him. Out to Ba between the circles. Ba, Nilsson on the angle right. Comes off a pick by Rudd, leans in from 10 from the free throw line, and it's good, and he's got 24 points, his high game of the year by far. Down court, Christiansen, free throw line to Jones. He leans in, and a foul called on J.J. Nilsson. Jones puts his shoulder down and goes right into J.J. J.J. picks up his third foul. And the Mustangs' fifth team foul, sixth team foul. So Bear River gets the ball out of bounds under their own basket. And the next time Mountain Crest fouls, Bear River will be in the bonus. Robertson inbound. Can't find it, but he finally Christiansen in the corner. J.J. Nilsson on him. Mountain Crest in the zone. The ball's thrown off of J.J. Nilsson's leg, and they call a kick. And Bear River gets the ball back. 63-49, Mountain Crest up by 14 points. 2.58 left in the ball game. Mountain Crest trying to hold on for their fourth region win. Cross court to Jones, a three, shots hard, a rebound. Ben Lishman up high, and a foul is called, I think, on Ben on Ben Lishman. Yeah, it's called on Ben Lishman. So uh, it looked like he may have had position, but apparently Ryan Toon had position, and he will shoot the one and one as he's fouled on that rebound. Quinn Stevens will come into the game, and Christiansen will come out for Bear River. Bear River still hanging tight, just 2.54 left in the game, but they're down by 14. Uh, with Brager in the ball game, though, his ability to shoot the three-pointer, they are never out of a game. Toon with a right hand, shot's no good, a rebound fought for, Jones knocks it out of bounds, and Mountain Crest gets the ball back. So unable to convert on the free throws, Bear River uh, struggling from there, and Toon just 0 for 1 there tonight. Rudd inbounds it to J.J. Nilsson to ball in the backcourt. He's double teamed by Jones and Stevens to J.J. Nilsson. He dribbles. He's double teamed. The ball's knocked out of bounds by Stevens. Right in front of Bear River head coach Rex McKee. And Mountain Crest gets the ball back. Again, a special thanks to all of our sponsors for Mount making these games possible to you by a cellular phone here on KVFM. Rudd in the front court. He's double teamed to trap Simmons. Now breaks it. Nice pass underneath. Lishman leads in strong and puts it up and in. Wow, a nice strong layup as Toon had his hand on the ball, but Lishman powered it up and in. Brager, three from the angle right. Shot's good. Wow. Brager, five three-pointers tonight, and he single-handedly is keeping Bear River in the game. Toon now with the ball knocked away from behind by Jones. Rudd lays out Robertson near midcourt. No call. Uh, Stevens, free throw line to Toon. He holds to Robertson. Stevens on the baseline, and they call Lishman for a ticky-tack foul there. Wow. <laughs> Rudd uh, was just standing, and he saw Robertson running down court. Didn't move, and Robertson just got clobbered as he goes into Rudd. 2-11 on the clock, left in the ballgame. Mountain Crest up by 13, and Stevens will shoot free throws. Robertson checks out, and he may be a little bit shaken up. He took a shot. Christiansen in the game for the Bears. Big free throws here for Stevens. If Mount, if Bear River plans to stay into the, in this ball game, they need to start hitting their free throws. No good, and a rebound foul called on Courtney Jones. And Jones and Rudd exchange words. Jones, just the sophomore, Rudd uh, still talking a little bit, laughing. And Jones not too happy about that. Jones picks up 
his first foul, and Matt Rudd uh, shooting just 44% from the free throw line will step up and shoot the one and one. And some discussion on the court. The, and the official comes over to, to discuss something at the scores table. I'm not sure what. Central Park, the best deal, the best meal at 890 North Main in Logan. Mountain Crest game sponsor. Rudd, 44% from the line, steps up with a right hand. Shot's no good. Rebound tipped out by J.J. Nelson, and Eric Boz got it. J.J., angle left, underneath Rudd, fakes, kicks out. Lishman, back to J.J. Clears over to Simmons, back out to Baugh. Two minutes left in the ballgame. Mountain Crest leads by 13 points. Quinn Stevens guarding Eric Baugh. Simmons, angle right, underneath. Rudd, turnaround jumper over two, shot's no good. Rebound, though, Simmons comes up with it. He's open, he'll take a three from the angle right. This one rattles out, Toon with a rebound. To Stevens in the backcourt, a minute 40. Bear River with the ball, down by 13, a three by Brager. This one's no good. And he has hit five, so he is very dangerous. Now the ball's taken away. Eric Boss speeds down court, layup good. Eric, his first field goal tonight, 11 points. Stevens comes back into the lane. Free throw line, Jones. Pump fakes once, goes in, shot is good, and he's fouled by J.J. Nilsson. So Courtney Jones may not be the prettiest player, but he gets the job done. Somehow scores another basket, and he's fouled. So he's got four or five points, just one for three from the line, and he'll have a chance for another shot, for another point. 67-54, the Mustangs up by 13. A minute 16 left in the ball game. One shot for Jones. Shots hard, no good, rebound Rudd. Eric Baugh with the ball in the backcourt, takes his time. A minute 10 left in the ball game. Stevens meets him. JJ on the angle right and he's travel. He calls for, he's called for the travel. And he did look to take a step. So a turnover by Mountain Crest just their fourth tonight. So they've taken good care of the ball and they lead by 13, a minute five left. Quinn Stevens works against the Mountain Crest zone. Free throw line, Toon, a jumper, shot short, a rebound back to Toon and it's spot for Toon comes up with it and a foul on Eric Baugh reaching in. Eric with his first foul of the game. Interesting looking at the free throws shot, Mountain Crest just Eric Baugh has shot 10 free throws. And I think uh, as a team, Bear River has just shot 11. So uh, Mountain Crest definitely with a decided advantage at the free throw line. Ryan Toon, 0 for 1 tonight from the line. First free throw is short, no good. Rebound, Lishman up high. Clears to Eric Baugh in the backcourt. 50 seconds left in the ballgame. The Mustangs with a comfortable 13-point lead. Stevens on Baugh. J.J. to Eric, and Eric will try and run the clock out as best he can. Dribbles around, out near midcourt to Simmons, back to Eric. Eric picked up by Quinn Stevens. Double teamed now by Christiansen and Stevens in a timeout. So Eric Ball calls timeout. The Mustangs lead 67-54 with 34 seconds left. We'll be right back. With a left-hand dribble. Mountcrest just trying to run the clock out. They lead 67-54. Lishman on the baseline. Clears it back out to Simmons near midcourt. Eric Ball, 20 seconds on the clock. And Bear River not looking to foul, just playing tight defense, looking for the turnover. Ball comes off a pick by J.J. Nilsson over to Simmons. Ten seconds left in this ball game. Mount Crest leading 67-54 and a reaching foul called on Brian Brager. And Brager really has been impressive for Bear River tonight. Uh, and I think he is fouling out of the game. That is indeed his fifth foul. I'll have to look and see. He has hit five three-pointers, 21 points. Brian Brager, the sophomore for Bear River, checks out. And folks, he's going to be a dandy. Uh, and it's nice to see Bear River with some talent coming up through the ranks like Brian Brager. They've been at the bottom of the heap for so long, uh, you want to see Bear River come up a little bit. Dave Simmons at the free throw line will have the one and one. He hits his first. Simmons is the Mustangs' top free throw shooter, 85%, 23 for 27, now 24 for 28 
on the year. Simmons with another one. Right hand shot is no good. A rebound fought for Rudd. Keeps it alive, but Bear River comes down with it. Two down court, three seconds, two seconds. A long three by Christiansen is an air ball. So we end this one. Mountain Crest on top, 68-54. They improve to four and five in region play, 11 and six overall. Uh, and good free throw shooting was, was a major factor. And J.J. Nielsen's incredible offensive performance, I think he had 24 points tonight, uh, gave Mountain Crest this win. And Doyle, what did you think uh, about this? This, I think, is a good win for Mountain Crest. They, they didn't really fall back. They didn't look great, but they came away with, with a pretty solid win. Yeah, really, it was a solid win. And the, a lot of things went well. A lot of things that, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna take a look at this and say, this is where we need to improve going into next week. But uh, overall, pretty decent performance. And, of course, J.J. Nielsen, the story of the night, he's just in the zone. <laughs> 24 points. And, it didn't matter. He just he looks smooth. You know, everything looked to just come to him. And yep. uh, when a player gets like that, you just want to give him the ball and watch the show. Yeah, and it was a show. J.J. Nelson, 24 points. He made it look easy. 13 first half points. All of those coming in about the first five or six minutes of the game. 24 for the game. Uh, he hit four three pointers, two for two from the free throw line, and an overall outstanding game for him. Uh, he's had some trouble, uh, a thumb injury, and has not shot the ball as well as he has uh, in the past. So a good game for him. On the other hand, Bear River led by Brian Brager's 22 points, a nice performance for the sophomore. So the final score here tonight for Mount Crest High School, Mountain Crest 68, Bear River 54. We'd like to thank those of you viewing on the Valley Channel. For me, Dave Harrison and Doyle Geddes, thank you. And for those of you listening on KVFM, we'll be right back. Checks out of the game, and Matt Peterson, who's played well in this second quarter, checks in. Conger gets set for a second. 29-27, Mountain Crest leads. Now it's 30-27 as Conger hits his second free throw. In the backcourt, Stevens. The ball's knocked away by Conger. Stevens gets it back. Gets it back. He's into the front corner with a right-hand dribble to Christiansen. 15-13, 12. I guess it was 15, 14, 13, 10 seconds, 9 seconds, driving in is Stevens, and he's called for the travel, so 7 seconds left in the first half. And Mountain Crest will get the ball back. They'll need to go the full length of the court. Uh, and Matt Peterson will inbound the ball for the Mustangs. To Baugh, Baugh, in the back court, 6 seconds, 5 seconds, into the front court, spins in the lane, all the way on right hand shots, no good, and a foul is called as, uh, as he brought it up. 58 on the year, a very good free throw shooter, and by far has shot the most free throws of any Mustang. First one up with a right hand and good. Eric Bach, averaging 14.3 points a game, tonight has got just three. He'll attempt his second free throw. All of the Bears fall into the lane. Eric's shot is good. Two seconds, one second. Shot by Robertson from midcourt is no good. So at the half, the Mountain Crest. Now, are we gonna, we're going to use Wade Barris, Quinn Stevens, and Jonathan Riggs for the Bears. Mountain Crest for the ball. Eric Barr out near midcourt. Veers off to the right. Stops. Gives J.J. Nelson. He'll pop a three. Shots no good. Rebound. Ben Lishman there. Puts it up with a left hand and in. So Ben Lishman starts the second quarter off strong with a rebound bucket. And the Mustangs lead 34-27. Quinn Stevens now goes all the way in. Left hand shots no good. Rebound. Fought for it. Kelly Bird and Ben Lishman who came all the way over his back. Uh, they called they were called for the jump ball. So uh, Lishman, I think, got a break there. And, and Bear River will get the ball on the alternating possession. Riggs on the angle right, picked up by Conger. Cross court pass, Robertson in the corner. He'll drive baseline. He stopped there, gives to Bird. Bird out to Brager on the right side to Riggs in the corner to Stevens. Stevens double team back out to uh, Riggs. He spins at the top of the key, gives left side Brager. He'll take a three shots. Good. Brager knocks down his second three of the game. 34-30, now J.J. answers, misses the three, and he chases down his own rebound. The ball's loose on the floor. Kelly Booth dives for it. It's still loose. Robertson comes up for the Bears. He pushes it up. Three on two on the left side. Riggs, 15-foot jumper, no good. Rebound, Quinn Stevens chases it down. Gives underneath Burke. Burke turns in. Pop once, gets Booth right in the air. Shots up and in. Kevin. 
as the second half starts off. They one for one from the line tonight. Shot is up and good. Excuse me, he's one for two from the line. Now pushing it up all the way, John, J.J. Nielsen, and it looks like he's tripped by Leo Robertson. That's the call, and J.J. went down hard. I thought he may have uh, twisted an ankle, but he gets up and he's all right. Uh, and Mountain will get the ball back under their own basket. Rocky Mountain Cellular, U.S. West, number one authorized agent in Cache Valley. Congo on the angle left, top of the key, Eric Baugh. Baugh picked up by Stevens on the angle right, J.J. J.J. looks underneath for Lishman, can't find him. Now out in midcourt, Eric Baugh. 6.45 left in this third quarter. 34-33, Mountain leading. Dan Carter, angle right, J.J. He's open for three. He'll take it. Shot's good. J.J. Nelson for this first bucket, a three-pointer. And Mustangs open up a four-point lead. Robertson into the front court. Sees a hole, drives into the uh, lane. Shot's no good. Red with the rebound. Eric Baugh, down court. Conger, Conger to the baseline. Pulls it back out. He's double teamed. Top of the key, Rudd, Rudd. Feet to the line, passes left side. Lishman, the ball almost goes out of bounds, and it does as Dan Conger tries to save it. Bear River will get the ball back. 6.17 left in the third. So Bear River will inbound the ball. Looks like... Uh, Brager must have been hit on the crown of his nose or on his forehead between his eyes. He's got a, a bandage there. Now the ball's inbounded, picked off by Dan Conger. That's the third time he's done that here in the game, and he's got the ball on the angle left, top of the key now, and backing it out near midcourt is Eric Ball. Ball picked up by Robertson on the angle right now. J.J. Nelson holds for the Mustangs. To Rudd, he throws it off the back of Ben Lishman. Luckily, it goes back to Rudd. Now Eric Ball open for three. Yes, Eric Ball with a three-pointer. His first of the game, and it's a 40-33 Mountain Crest lead. The ball is pressured in the backcourt. Matt Rudd called for another foul. Uh, Kelly Bird to win down for Bear River. Mountain Crest in a full court. Zone trapping defense. Robertson to Stevens. Still in the backcourt. He holds. Looks into the front court to Robertson. Robertson's got it on the eagle right breaker. He'll take a three. Shot is around and out. Rebound. Five four. It's still loose. Underneath Bird picks it up. He gets his own rebound up after missing a shot and then dives out of bounds, knocks it away, and Mountain Chris will get the ball back. So Mountain Chris will get it. 43-33, they lead. 40-33, to they lead with five and a half minutes left in the third. Thornapple Valley Trinoy, located in higher than point, great Cash Valley people. On the angle left, Rudd, or excuse me, Bond, he drives in, and he's uh, fouled on, on the river here in this second half. This gets the ball back under their own basket. Matt Peterson to inbound. He holds the ball over his head. Now out to Eric Barr. Eric fakes the three, goes into the lane, gets right side. Conger, he's open from three. He'll take it. Shot is short. Hits the front of the rim and bounces over the backboard out of bounds. Bear River will get it back. So Dan Conger uh, misses the three, and Bear River gets the ball. 40-33, Nunca still leads by seven. The ball inbound to Brager. Robertson holds it. Now into the front court to Kelly Bird. Bounce pass is picked up by Matt Peterson. So the full court pressure is effective again for the Mustangs as they turn a tur uh, get a turnover. Conger on the angle left looking underneath for Lishman. Can't find him. Gives it out to Peterson. Peterson over to Ball. Down in the corner to J.J. Nelson. J.J. kicks out to Conger. Top of the key. He'll drive into the lane. Lays it up with the right hand. No good. Rebound. Lishman up high. Pump fix twice. Shots blocked from behind and a foul called. Good leaping ability. Uh, and he's kind of got a savvy foot called on Bear River. So at the free throw line, Lishman, a 62% free throw shooter. His shot is up and in. 41-33, Mountain Crest on top. 4.48 left in the third. Second one is up and out, but a rebound by Peterson. He puts a shot up, misses it, and Kelly Byrd and Peterson fight for it and knocked out of bounds by Matt Peterson. So good hustle by Peterson uh, despite the missed free throw. I think that is the kind of hustle and heart that Coach John Nilsson was uh, talking about that Mountain Crest needed to show that they did not against uh, Box Elder. 41-33, the ball's inbounded in the corner to Barris. He's uh, pushed out of bounds now by Dan Conger. And Wade Barris turned and threw the ball, hit Conger. Uh, Conger goes over there, but I, I don't think that that was on purpose by Wade Barris. He was falling out of bounds and tried to throw the ball out of bounds off of Conger's leg. I I'm not sure what the call is. Wade Barris seems to be upset. Wade Barris is visibly upset, and they call a technical foul on Wade Barris. I don't think that's right. 
goes for extra key. Time, a player falling out of bounds, tries to throw the ball out of the bar. Will shoot the technical free throws. Ball with the right hand shot's no good, short. Looked like he hurried his shot. Usually he takes a lot more time than that. At the free throw line, we'll see if he can hit the second one. Bends his knees, takes his time this time. Shot is up and good. Shabbat three for four three at midcourt. Matt Peterson, two inbound, and he's guarded closely by two. Inbounds it in the backcourt to Eric Ball. So Mountcrest can uh, push this lead to double digits for the first time this game. Top of the key, Peterson. Conger, he'll take a three. Shots good. Dan Conger, his third three of the game. And the Mustangs open up a 12-point lead in the backcourt. Christy Hansen. Throws into the front court to Riggs. Riggs terminates the dribble, picked up by J.J. Nielsen. In the corner, Kelly Bird on the angle right now. A foul called on J.J. Nielsen. And that will be J.J.'s third foul. The 14th foul on the Mustangs. 13th foul, excuse me, on the Mustangs here in the second half. And Kelly Bird will inbound the ball right in front of his coach, Rex McKee. They're over trailing Mountain Crest by 12. They did have a six-point lead in the first half, in the first quarter. Ryan Toon throws the ball, trying to get it to Kelly Burton. Dan Collier knocks it out of bounds. Happy New Year, our local athletic directors have selected our first six Wendy's KVFM Players of the Week for 94. They'll each receive a letter of recognition and a free combo meal from Wendy's. From Logan, Rick Sampson, and Blake Sorensen, Skyview, Catherine Gibbons, and Zach Ferguson, and Mountain Crest, Connie South, and Tyler Olson are the winners, and congratulations to them. They're over with the ball inbounds to Christiansen, now to Burgesson, or excuse me, to uh, Brager. Now to two, he's double teamed at the elbow. He dribbles into the lane, throws it out left side to Robertson. Now back to two, the ball's knocked away, taken away by Eric Ball. Ball clears down court, right side to Christensen. He'll lean in from 10, shots good. So Kyle picks up his first uh, bucket of the game, fourth point, and now a timeout on the court. We'll take a time. Uh, Skyview has blown the game open with Ben Lomond. I just wrote the score down and now I can't find it, but I think they're up by 22. Bear River in the back court. Now in the front court, Chris Jansen to Bird on the baseline. He'll drive in. Dishes left side to Breger. He turns in, shots off the glass and good. So a nice move there. And a bucket by Breger, and that's his 10th uh, point of the game. On the angle right now. The ball's thrown away. Peterson trying to go into Christensen, and he lost the handle. And coming up for uh, with the ball for Bear River is Christiansen. He drives all the way down to the baseline, gives that to Brager. Brager holds, gives to Christiansen, picked up by Eric Baugh. Eric pressuring, now Brager, picked up by Conger. Mountain Crest in his own defense, 2-3. In the corner, Kelly Bird, Matt Peterson out there to meet him. Bird terminates the dribble, gives left side now to Christiansen. Christiansen gives right side Brager. Brager looks underneath Bird. Bird's up and turns on the baseline. Shots hard off the side of the backboard. And Mountain Crest gets the rebound. Richmond down court to Eric Baugh to Conger on the eagle right. He's guarded by Kelly Bird. Now top of the key. Uh, Christensen, and he throws it to Eric Baugh. And Baugh took his eyes off of the ball, and the ball went out of bounds. So Bear River will get the ball. 2.36 left in the third quarter. 47-35, the Mustangs with a 12-point lead. Bear River in the front court. On the angle right, Brager. Brager looks underneath for two. Into the corner, Christy Hansen has it. Now he looks underneath for Bird. He almost falls out of the bounds, saves it in uh, to two. Top of the key, Riggs, a three, yes! So Bear River staying in this ball game, and Riggs gets his first points of the game, a three-pointer, 47-38. Now Peterson knocks down a, th a three. Matt Peterson uh, with his first three-pointer in varsity action this year, and he has got nine points. Now all the way down court, third, the fifth team foul on Mountain points. Riggs inbounds, left side Christy Hansen, guarded by Christensen. Mountain Crest in his own defense. Christy Hansen pulls up from 15, shot hard, uh, is short, rebound. Peterson fights for it, clears it all the way down court. Christensen, he's open, goes in, right hand layup is good. Christensen with his sixth point on the night. Mountain Crest opens up a 14 point lead. Ball on the right side to Riggs. Top of the key, Brager. Brager 23 feet from the bucket. Dribbles, gives left side now to Riggs. He'll pull up from 15. Right hand shots, no good. Rebound. Cook. Cook 
Bush, he up for the Mustangs. He's got Congo on the left. He'll take it himself. Right hand layup short. No good rebound. Wishman there. Wishman puts it up. Shot short and rebound. Bear River Brager gives right side to Christiansen. 52-38 still our score. A minute 18 left in the third. Mountain Crest leading by 14. Brager pulls up from uh, 18. Shot is short. It's an air ball. And Mountain Crest gets the ball out of bounds uh, under the Bear River basket. So Brager, who shot the ball well, He's got not 10 points tonight for Bear River. Shot nothing but air that time. Cook on the right side to Lishman. Lishman holds. Here's the Peterson on the left side to Cook. Cook underneath Lishman, cutting the hole. Shot's good. No good. Rebound, though. Lishman gets it back. He's fouled. Count the bucket. And he scores it. He'll shoot it. Got his own rebound back, though. So uh, put it back up. And he, he checks in for the first time for the Bears. And sitting down is Kelly Bird. So Ben Lishman. Will shoot one free throw, trying to finish the conventional three-point play, and he does it. Mountcrest with a 55-38 lead. 54 seconds left in the third. Christy Anson on the right angle right to Jones. Jones holds, drives across the lane. Tom Nason to Luke gives top of the key. Now left side, Robertson holds. He's double teamed. In the corner to Christy Anson. He'll pull up from three. Shot's good. Christy Anson with his first points on the night, and he's got a three. 36 seconds on the clock. Left side, shot by Conger's no good. Rebound, Bear River. All the way down court, right side, Jones. Courtney Jones picks up his dribble. He's stopped by Peterson. Left side, the ball's almost picked off, but Riggs gets it underneath. Left shot, Neil Robertson, good. Fifth point, uh, five points for Robertson, and it's 55-33 with 15 seconds on the clock. Cook, right side, Lishman. Lishman holds, gives to Peterson on the angle left to Cook. Again to Lishman, cutting the hole, pump fakes twice, puts a shot up, no good, hard. Rebound, Robertson, four seconds on the clock. Robertson pushing it up, in the front court, one second. Shot, no, uh, it sh uh, is before. Yeah, 55-43. Fourth quarter, Dan Conger inbounds it in the back court to Peterson. Now in the front court to Eric Bob. Bob picked up by Justin Christiansen. Gets on the angle left to J.J. Nielsen. Top of the key, Lishman over to Peterson. Peterson underneath J.J. Turns, turnaround jumpers go. J.J. with a nice turnaround bucket. And he's got five points. In the front court, Christy Anson. Mount Chris with a 14-point lead. Christy Anson for the Bears. Holtz gives on the angle left to Leo Robertson. Down to the corner to Christy Anson. Christy Anson picks up his dribble. He's pressured by J.J. Nielsen. Finally gets it out to Courtney Jones. Now down in the corner to Robertson. Robertson dribbles a couple of times, picks it up, gives it back to Jones in the corner. Jones looks underneath for Brager. Brager fakes, turns, and he's fouled by Dan Conger, who reached in. And Dan, in the last couple of ball games, and they uh, have a comfortable lead at this point. On the angle right, Christiansen in the corner. Robertson drives all the way, and left-hand layup is easy and good. So Robertson, just when I say it, uh, gets an easy bucket. And 57-45, Mount Crest up by 12. Peterson on the angle right. Over to Conger. Got the key, JJ. He'll pull up from three point land. Shots way uh, left. And JJ just doesn't seem to be getting the stroke. Now Conger steals the pass. Shots good. Dan Conger with a big steal. Laid it up and in. Now in the front court, Riggs drives all the way. And the ball's knocked away by uh, Eric Ball. Eric Ball pushing it up for Mount Crest. Goes all the way in left hand lamp. Spins it off. No good. Rebound. Wishwood puts it up and in. So Ben Wisman really has gone to the boards hard. He's got three putback uh, baskets and... Okay, great, uh, three second half. Yeah, good, too. I'm glad they're getting another timeout in. The 28s. Bell over with the ball in the backcourt. Mountain Crest still in a full court pressure defense. Uh, they're looking to trap. Now in the front court, Robertson. Collier backs off. Robertson tries to drive, gives right side Courtney Jones. He picks his dribble up, gives to Robertson on the angle left now to Christy Anson in the corner. Back to Robertson. Robertson stopped there by Lishman. They're looking to get the ball underneath. They finally get it in the paint to Brager. He'll pull up from 10. Shots good. So Brager again with uh, 12 points, and he's shooting the ball well. Now underneath Lishman, the ball's knocked away from behind by Brager. So Bear River with a turnover. 61-47, Mountain Crest with a 14-point lead. Chris Hansen underneath Rager again. 10-foot ten ten jumper is no good. And a foul called Rager has shown that he can score from both uh, inside the paint and from beyond the arc. He's knocked down the two three-pointers. Free throws up and good by Rager. And Brager is only a sophomore, six foot three sophomore. So Brager's going to be around for some time, and I'm sure that you're going to hear his name 
mentioned uh, in a couple of years. So again, Brager knocks his second free throw down. 14 points for Brager, and it's a 12-point Mountain Crest lead. 5.50 left in the ballgame. Eric Ball with the dribble. On the angle right to J.J. Nelson, picked up by Kelly Bird. Over to Jeff Crosby underneath. J.J. open. Shot's good. A nice pass. And that same play has worked several times now in the second half uh, for Mountain Crest. A couple of times to Lishman. This time to J.J. Nelson. Now down court Kelly Bird. In the corner. He picks up his dribble. And the ball's taken away by Dan Conger. He goes down court. And the ball's knocked away. But J.J. comes up with it. He saves on the baseline. Throws it out of bounds off of Courtney Jones. And Mountain Crest will get the ball back under their own basket. 5.24 left in the game. Mountain Crest leading 63-49. Ryan Two will check in now for the Bears. And Kelly Bird will sit down. Two playing with four fouls. Wade Ferris also with four fouls will check into the ball game. So Coach Rex McKee knows that to get his team back into the ball game, they need their big guns in there. And Barris and Tudor have both been on the bench a uh, good portion of this game because of fouls. Now Collier will take a three from the angle left. Shots no good. Rebound up high. J.J. Nelson saves it inbounds, but to Courtney Jones for the Bears. He gives to Robertson. Now to Barris in the backcourt. Wade Barris, the point guard, on the angle left to Robertson. Robertson looks underneath for Brager. Can't find him. He'll drive all the way in. Right hand layup is blocked by Lisbon off the glass. Coon gets the rebound back. And now a foul on the shot as two in the game, 63-49. The Mustangs with the f to provide you this game live via cellular phone. Two misses the first free throw. And he's now one for three from the line. Valley Metals, your hometown people, sponsoring your hometown team. Uh, sponsor of Mountain Crest Basketball. Two misses both free throws. One for four from the line for him tonight. Mountain Crest gets the rebound. Jeff Crosby on the angle left now to to uh, Cogger, to J.J. J.J. at the free throw line, gives now to Eric Barr. Eric, picked up by Wade Barris. Dribbling with the right hand, he keeps his dribble alive. Now on the angle right to J.J. Nelson, out to Lishman. Top of the key to Crosby. Looks underneath for J.J., can't find him. Cogger in the corner, the ball's picked off by Brager. Brager picks it up, goes all the way in. The shot is swatted away by Jeff Crosby. Eric Barr fights for it. Barris takes it away, but he throws it right back to Jeff Crosby. So Crosby knocks that ball right out of the air. And a big block there. 4.23 left in the ballgame. 63-49. Mountain Crest in control. Crosby in the corner to J.J. Nielsen. He'll take another three. This one's short again. And now Toon and J.J. Nielsen are pushing, and J.J. will foul out of the ballgame. Uh, what Toon did is after J.J. shot the free, he shot the three-pointer, uh, for four, or one for five from the three-point line, and I think he may be a little bit frustrated, but J.J., uh, his time will come. Ryan Toon hits his free throw. First one, the front end of a one and one. So he's now two for five from the line. San Francisco Sourdough Pizza, located in both Logan and Providence. Fresh hot pizza and delivery to Millville, Nibley, Providence. Second free throw by two is up and good. 63-51, Mountain Crest on top. Conger on the angle left, picked up by Jones to Crosby, now to Eric Ball, guarded by Barris. Now Conger in the lane, drives with a left hand shot, is no good, but a foul, and Dan with an angle ball game. Looks like the region, oh, they were both coming in with one and one record, so one of those two teams will be two and one, and the other will be one and two. Mountain Crest will also improve to one and two if they hold on tonight, and Bear River will fall to uh, O. And two. First shot is no good by Dan Carter. He'll attempt the second one. This one is up and good. The ball into the front court by Wade Barris. On the eagle right to Jones. Jones holds. Gives on the left side to Barris. Now Barris on the right side to Jones. Picked up by Carter. Tries to drive. Gives down to Robertson. He'll drive all the way in. Nice drive. Shots no good. Two with the rebound. He'll put it up and in. Ryan two. Now with 13 points. Eric Barr into the front court for the Mustangs. 3.35 left in the game. Mountain Crest up 64-53. Jeff Barr to Conger. On the angle left, Jeff Crosby. Free throw line to Lishman. Right side in the corner, Conger. Conger dribbles a couple of times, backs it out to Eric Barr. On the angle left, Jeff Crosby. On the angle right, Dan Conger. He'll drive into the lane again. Right hand layup, scoop, good. Dan Conger is really creating some shots for himself by putting the ball uh, on the floor and penetrating. And he's done a nice job on getting you a total on how many points he's got. Uh, I think he's got about 22. Now Wade Barris will take a three and knock it down from the angle left. 
His second three, six points, and it's a 66-56 game. So Mountcrest is not out of the woods yet. Ten point lead, now Lishman on the blocks, turns in. Gives right side, Jeff Brock, three shots, no good, short, rebound two, gives to Robertson. Now to Barris in the backcourt. Barris uh, has shown that he can shoot the three, as has Brager, the sophomore. Courtney Jones in the corner to Barris. Barris fakes the three, on the angle right to Robertson. Robertson at the top of the key between the legs dribble. He's got the ball still alive at the free throw line. The ball's knocked away, and he's pushed from behind by Eric Baugh, and they'll call a foul, a foul on Eric, and Coach John Nielsen will call it. Skyview has defeated Ben Lohman, previously undefeated. Skyview 76, Ben Lohman 54, so Skyview now the only team in Region 5 that is undefeated. Ogden and Logan are tied up at 40. Leo Robertson hits his free throw. And he is 4 for 4 from the line, and he's got 10 points. He's got a chance to cut the lead to 8, 66-57 the score now. Dribbles, takes his time, the southpaw puts it up, and around it in. So he gets the roll, and it's an eight-point mountain crest lead. Wade Barris pressuring Eric Baugh in the back court. Now Eric into the front court, into the corner to Jeff Baugh. Jeff Baugh dribbles across, now out to Carter near midcourt, picked up by Kelly Bird. Matt Rudd has checked into the game for mountain crest. Now Dan Carter drives all the way around, right hand layup, the shot is around, good, counted, and a foul. So Dan Conger now really has taken over this game. Uh, it looks like he's got his uh, score, and Dan Conger will have a chance to make an 11-point Mountain Crest lead, and he does with a free throw. So 26 points for Dan. Mountain Crest with a full court 1-2-2 zone defense. Wade Barris dribbling, tries to break it himself, still in the back court. Finally, he's trapped now. He's still got the ball. Finally into the front court to Brager. To Burr, 15-foot jumper on the angle right baseline. Shots good. Kelly Byrne with his sixth, excuse me, eighth points, and Eric Barr in the front court. 69-60, Mountain Crest leads by nine. Eric Barr, or excuse me, Conger, near midcourt, picked up by Bird. Looks for a screen, he's almost double teamed, and Barris was there. Now, Jeff to Eric. Eric picked up by Wade Barris in the corner. Eric Barr gives to Conger out near midcourt. A minute 27 left in the game, a nine-point Mountain Crest lead. Conger to Barr. Mountain Crest will try it, will spread it out and run some time off. Jeff Barr to Eric Barr. Picked up by Robertson and Robertson called for the foul. So Robertson. the score, Eric Baugh hits the first free throw. And, excuse me, Mountain Crest up 70-60 as he hits his first free throw. A minute 16 left in the ball game. Mountain Crest leading by 10. Eric for the second. Shots no good. Short rebound. Barris for the Bears. Pushing it up. Into the front court. Left side, Robertson. Robertson drives to the baseline. Pulls up from 10. Shot is partially blocked by Matt Rudd. And a foul called on Matt. And I think that's his fifth of Bear River. Leo Robertson has a chance to cut it to an eight-point Mustang lead with free throws. Left-hand shot is up and good. Robertson now six for six from the line, 12 points in the game. Coach Rex McKee on his feet, talking to his guard, Quinn Stevens. Bear River trails now by eight as Robertson hits his second. He's perfect from the line, seven for seven. Now full court pressure, and now Stevens fouls Eric Baugh before the ball can be inbounded. And it works, so Stevens checks out. Wade Barris checks. Again, a special thanks to all of our sponsors uh, for making these games possible. Eric Baugh, the first one is up and good. He's a uh, six. Five for six from the line, and they'll have a chance to make it a 10-point lead once again for the Mustangs. Second one is up and good, nothing but net. 72-62, a minute eight left on the clock. Wade Barris in the front court, left side. Bird, he'll take a three, shot, no good. Rebound, tipped up, loose on the floor, and now a foul called on Robertson, who goes down hard. Looked like he got popped right in the two. 
So a little better than 70%. With the right hand, shots around and out. A rebound up high, Breger, the sophomore. To Barris in the backcourt. Across the timeline with a right hand dribble. Barris has got it, takes a three. Shot is way wide, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Kelly Bird. Mountain gets it back with 50 seconds on the clock and a 10 point lead. Peterson inbounds it to Conger, and he's fouled immediately by Kelly, uh, as opposed to Eric Baugh, the other player that was in the backcourt trying to make it. Numbers 27 and 28. First free throws, no good. Rebound to two to Barris. 45 seconds. Barris in the front court to Bird. Bird will take a 22 foot jumper. Shots no good. Rebound. 5 4. Christensen controls it. And he's immediately fouled out of bounds. And he will shoot free throws again. So throw a line. Again, a thanks to Rocky Mountain Cellular making the most of your time. Kyle Christensen hits the front end. And it's a 73 62 Mountain Crest lead with 39 seconds left in the ballgame. Deseret Industries, uh, special thanks to them as they sponsor Mountain Crest basketball. The second free throw, no good by Christensen. Barris, Barris pushing it up to Breger in the corner. He fakes the three. The ball's knocked away by Matt Peterson. Nice defensive play. Eric Barr in the backcourt, and he's fouled. As Ryan and Eric Barr will shoot free throws. Eric now, by miracle, win this game, but Mountain Crest pretty much has this one in the old ice box. The free throw's up and good by Eric Barr. 11 points for Eric. Uh, Eric averaging 14.3 points a game, so he's a couple points sh shy of his average. Uh, but I think the fact that he's penetrated and dished and had some nice assists tonight uh, makes up for any point production that he may not have produced. So he hits a second free throw. It's a 13-point Mountain Coast lead. Barris on the angle right to Brager. He'll pull up from three. Shot is good. Brager knocks down the three-pointer. This third of the game, and now a foul immediately in the backcourt. But fortunately, they will end their three-game losing in the past in some games. But they they still uh, have played a pretty good game, and, and Bear River is not back down at all. They've, they've gone pretty much blow for blow all game long until right towards the end as Mountain Crest turned up the heat in the third quarter. Pa hits the first free throw. And he misses a second rebound off to Brager. Right side, Stevens, 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Mountain Crest, all they need to do is back off. They have an 11-point lead shot on the left side by Brager. No good. Stevens backs out. Here's the Brager. Another three with three seconds. This one's no good as well. Third, the this one fight for the rebound in the game losing streak as they beat Bear River. A final score, 76-50, excuse me, 76-60.